Hi guys and welcome to my channel in the year with O'Hare. So yeah, today we have another unboxing as you can tell. Um, so let's just uh, get into it. Now I've already opened it and I removed um, the shipping label and everything. Uh, Cause, uh, oh, I'll just explain there. So, so here's the paper for protection. And then more paper. And so the reason why I opened this box earlier is because I, um, I got uh, a stand, Jenna by Jet's uh, metal stand. I had two, so um, I needed to open one right away. And then so here's the other one. And here. Oh, and the package insert. So I'll put that down there. So I've got the paper. Won't need the box, but I'll uh, maybe I might I don't know. So that's the box. And so here's the model, guys. That's right, it's another WestJet, but it's not by Genemite Jets, this is by NG Models. So let's just get into it. So I'm just putting the stand side. So starting from the top of the box, um, when you take it out, Boeing 787-900 trademark, uh, Boeing logo, uh, WestJet, WestJet colors uh, here, and then you can see just the WestJet name, just like engraved there. Um, computer generated image of the aircraft registration, and that's um, Charlie Golf um, Unicorn Roger Papa, and then uh, there's the NG logo, so next generation model. It's a one four hundred scale die cast uh, metal, and turning to the bottom, uh, sorry. Yeah, to the bottom of the box you have uh, just the barcode and uh, Boeing 787-9, uh, Boeing logo, NG models logo, and West and the image of the aircraft as well as the registration. And then uh, turning to the left hand side, uh, you have uh, that WestJet colors continued there. Uh, and you have Boeing 787-9 logo, uh, Boeing logo, NG Models logo, WestJet logo, and it's missing the T, which is uh, sort of funny, so it says West J, but it's supposed to be a T there, so WestJet, and uh, 1400 uh, scale collectible model, die cast metal. Turning to the top hand side, you have the NG logo, uh, you have the Boeing 787-900 logo, the image of the aircraft, and then the registration, uh, Charlie Golf uh, Unicorn, uh, I'm going to just say Rock, I guess, or uh, and then Papa. Anyway, uh, turning to this, uh, the left hand side so sorry that was the right hand side on the other side uh, so the top and then so left hand side uh, you have the west jack colors continuing and then you have boeing 787-900 trademark uh... ng models uh... and west jet logo right there with the t on it this time um, one four hundred scale collectible model uh... die cast metal and then Turning to the back, you have image of the aircraft, the continuation of the new uh, livery colors, and the NG model logo, uh, image of the aircraft, and then down here you have all the licensing information, uh, WestJet is trademark of WestJet Airlines, uh, and then warning and age restriction, barcode, and then contains small parts, Nasuho for children under 14 years. Uh, product of China. So uh, let's just uh, uh, now take a look at the model. And 
then so that's the that's the top there I just took off there's no uh, plastic film to kind of protect it it's uh, in a in a foam uh, piece here so it's interesting and there it is so I'm just gonna put this back top of that and So this is my, um, I guess, second or third NG model that I have in my collection that I'll be adding. So here it is, and um, it's uh, same like like beautiful livery, uh, you know, same as the Jenna My Jets one. So let's just uh, quickly take a look at it here. So you have. Um, the cockpit windows are uh, very detailed on the nose cone and the wipers there. I know you guys can see it because it's out of uh, out of focus there. Uh, but you have proudly Canadian, uh, sorry, the Canadian flag. And it says proudly on top. And then you have the front emergency exit WestJet logo. Um, the new logo. And then it says Spirit of Canada. And then there's an antenna right there. Then there's the dish right there as well. Uh, engines are very detailed. Um, I know you guys can't see them, but you can also see through the engines there. Um, very detailed on the belly of the aircraft as well. Uh, the slats are very nice. You can see them. Um, the flaps, depending on where the light is coming from, sometimes you can't see the flaps right away or the spoilers uh, but it's very detailed there's the red landing light I know it's very very hard to see but it's right there um, turning towards or going towards the back part uh, of the fuselage you have behind the wings uh, emergency exit Dreamliner logo and then you have um, the uh, registration and it says Boeing 787-900 so uh, the registration again and now I remember what, what I said for R was um, so it's uh, Charlie Golf uh, um, just unicorn I guess um, and R is Romeo Papa so C dash G U R P and then uh, you have the nice colors of the um, new liver uh, WestJet like logo and uh, there's the back antenna as well right there oh yeah there's two antennas and then turning to the other side oh I also missed something there's a uh, number on the tail as well, uh, so it's 902. Uh, and then turning to the other side, pretty much the same thing. You got the front emergency exits, West Shut logo, uh, proudly Canadian, the Canadian flag. Uh, you have the cockpit windows and the co uh, windshield wipers. Uh, and then down here, uh, they have the front cargo door. Uh, and then again, uh, the engine's very detailed. Uh, you can also see uh, the landing light there, and then the active landing light as well. Uh, the green one on this side. Uh, t going towards the back, you have the back emergency exits, Dreamliner logo, um, registration, Charlie Golf, uh, Unicorn, uh, Romeo, Papa and uh, Boeing 787-900 or sorry dash 9 and then you have the obviously the new awesome looking uh, WestJet colors and uh, uh, like the um, 
not their logo exactly, their symbol, I guess. And uh, then you have 902 on the on the top of the fin and the uh, empennage rudders. Um, elevator is very detailed, and then the back is very detailed too. Um, I feel like this model is rolling, but I'll just check that when we check the bottom here. And so at the bottom you can see there is the front landing gear, uh, sorry, the nose landing gear. Um, I don't know what that is right there. Oh, it seems to be a part of the, part of the aircraft, like uh, it's painted on. And then you have the hole for the stand. Uh, you have the main landing gear. Also very detailed, you can see in the light as well, you can see the flaps there. Um, and uh, there's an antenna at the back as well, at the bottom. And the continuation of the Wesha colors. So, yeah, so let's see. Yeah, the gears are rolling on this one. And then at the top... Sorry, just one sec. And at the top, you can see all the other details the radar there and uh, the antennas one two three so I really like this model I wanted to get a second Westjet one uh, Dreamliner so I heard like NG was releasing uh, one themselves and so I'm, like, I'm not going to get another Gemini Jets I just want to see and compare to other uh, manufacturers and honestly um, the one that I have of uh, uh, WestJet 7 uh, the other Dreamliner um, the gear doesn't fully roll it's supposed to roll uh, but it's kinda like uh, the main uh, gears roll but the nose gear doesn't as much it rolls a bit but then it like gets kinda stuck uh, so I just like always like to have that option of uh, rolling gears. Um, so I honestly I love this model a little bit way more than Gen Genomai Jets. Sorry, Genomai Jets, but um, I still love I still love Genomai Jets. But uh, NG, uh, you did a great job on this one. So that's it for this video, guys. Make sure to smash that like button, comment down below, and. Uh, um, subscribe if you haven't already make sure to hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a video and uh, just share 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 and just kind of um, uh, help me uh, get more subs in I would just love your support in that and so that's it for this video see you in the next one